if you awaken from this illusion and you understand that black implies white self implies other life implies death or shall I say death implies life you can feel yourself not as a stranger in the world not as something here on probation not as something that has arrived here by fluke but you can begin to feel your own existence as absolutely fundamental what you are basically deep, deep down, far, far in is simply the fabric and structure of existence itself. So, say in Hindu mythology, they say that the world is the drama of God. God is not something in Hindu mythology with a white beard that, that sits on a throne and that has royal prerogatives. God in, in Indian mythology is the self, Sat Chit Ananda, which means Sat, that which is, Chit, that which is consciousness, that which is Ananda is bliss. And in other words, re, the, the, what exists, reality itself is gorgeous. It is the plenum, the fullness of total joy. Wow, we. And all those stars, if you look out in the sky, is a firework display like you see on the 4th of July, which is a great occasion for celebration. The universe is a celebration. It is a firework show to celebrate that existence is. Wow, we. And then they say, but however, there's no point just in sustaining bliss. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could conceive. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? And then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. You would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. That would be within the infinite multiplicity of choices you would have, of playing that you weren't God. Because the whole nature of the Godhead, according to this idea, is to play that he's not. The first thing he says to himself is, man, get lost. Because he gives himself away. The nature of love is self-abandonment, not clinging to oneself.